Hi, I'm Zyvon. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio. Uh, when last we were together, we were working towards getting um, our flying robot frame built. And uh, we have most of the components. What are we... Oops, wrong button. What are we missing? We are missing more batteries. More batteries, which means more oil. Um... I have steel, circuits, engines, and batteries. So steel is here, circuits are over here, engines are over here. So obviously that means the steel needs to come over here. Because I said so. <laughs> no, I think just because it's going to be easier. Uh, so let's... I can feed the engines directly into it. Batteries and steel need to come over the top. Yeah. Um, batteries are right here. Oh, you know, I could... No, I was going to say I could put batteries onto this belt and then steal off of it. No, I can't do that because it'll mess that up. So... I need to put batteries on a belt anyway. Well, I don't need to put them on a belt, but right now I have to manually move them over to here. Wow. We've drained the entire... Blue Science is limited by not having enough smart inserters and advanced circuitry. And the advanced circuitries aren't keeping up because there's just... Well, no, there's plenty of plastic now. Why are they not keeping up? Oh, it's a copper shortage. Don't have enough copper cable. Why is there a copper shortage? Did I break the line? No. There's just... There's a copper shortage. Oh, my. It's always something. What has happened? Uh, there's no obvious breaks. It's just that we don't have enough ore coming in for our um, production needs. Well, it doesn't do you any good to put laser turrets down if you don't uh, bother to power them. So I have... I oh, can't see that far down there. Yeah, I have four running. And they're coming... Yeah, they're making it all the way up. So, yeah, we just don't have enough copper. Oh, this guy has finally ran out. What little bit he was adding to it must have made a difference because we now have a shortage. Oh, well, there's 400 units right there. Let's let him grab those. And we are running out of copper. Quickly, quickly running out of copper. All right. Uh, let me finish this project up here and then we'll go hunting for copper. They ran into the walls. Yeah, they're down there at that copper base. As long as they're only doing damage to walls, we'll survive. Yeah, plastic and iron, or plastic and steel look very too similar from a distance. Now they're on the other walls. The walls are still walls. Uh, just do a count here. How much space do I have here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's just not going to be enough to do what I was thinking of, but actually... Just so I don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and make the placeholder here. I don't think I'm actually going to turn it on. But I think... Right. Yeah. Sorry. I thought it in my head, but I didn't share. Uh, basically, I'm going to run two lines here. Have another battery plant. 
chemical plant making batteries and run a line this way, run a line that way. They'll merge here and then I'll run them up here somehow. Is that a, oh, our power is fluctuating. All right, there's a way to combat that. And that is by using these accumulators, which require batteries because essentially that's what they are, are these big batteries. They will hold five megajoules. Now, this is, I don't remember from back in my science days, uh, what is the conversion between a megajoule and a megawatt? Or is that an easy, or if that's even an easy conversion? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to Google that later and see if it's significantly useful information. Um, did it make them? Yeah, I did. Basically, this will help with the uh, power surging that's happening every time the um, uh, lasers go on. Um, and I think just for right now... Oh, look here. We have a, a an attack. And they were coming in here, but they got targeted by the lasers and that pulled them down there. So that was good. And they're all dead now. Okay. Nice little distraction. Um, just temporarily put them right here. Eventually I'm going to start building a few uh, solar power arrays to help with the power and not as much pollution. Uh, he won't be on the power grid. So now we have a new line up here called the capacity. Basically shows if our batteries are uh, fully charged or not. So this will just help with the power surging that's happening a little bit. Uh, we will have to put some more power production together here very soon. Uh, like I said, this chemical plant, I think I, if I just tap it in right just like there, it'll, it'll get the sulfur, sulfuric acid it needs. X. And I need to underground Well, that was interesting. It bulged it up. Um, but what I want to do is only have it on one side. Will an inserter do that for me? I've already forgotten our little test. Uh, just give me some batteries. Oh, it's fine. It puts it to the left. Okay. So batteries will now be put out on to the belt. Why didn't he... Oh, you know what? I don't need that there. Um, I think he'll pick up from both sides. Let's find out. Where's that... Oh, there they are. I was like, where's that one battery I just picked up? Oh. Yep. He can grab from both sides. Perfect. Batteries and steel need to come over to here. Right there. Let's not do that right there. Let's actually run it underground. Oh, can't go all the way. We'll have to underground the steel if we're gonna, or the iron if we're going to go any further with it. So here, there. Yep, yep. Okay. So... You get first dibs on the steel, which is fine because this guy can't produce unless you've produced. Why haven't you produced? Because you... Oh, you're full. Why haven't you... Ah, because you're full. Perfect. So, 
This is a long, so slows are fine. It's a 20 second recipe. The only thing you don't have is the green. We're now making robot, flying robot frames. And the next part is pretty easy. You have to decide whether you want logistics or construction. The constructions will do exactly what that, they do, they will do construction work for you, but they're also the ones that do the repair. So you need a balance between the two. The logistic robots strictly move items from chest to chest or from chests to your person. Uh, we have these, and I don't have them yet because I haven't researched it, but I have a way of uh, telling it, the logistic network, what I want to have on me, and they'll bring stuff to me. And uh, we do have to use these new chests, these provider, or, and I don't have all of them available yet because our science hasn't got them, but basically uh, there's this passive provider, which is a storage unit in, in a sense because it will provide its contents to any requester, or whether it's a requester by a construction robot or by the player. Uh, there's a requester chest, which is blue, which isn't here yet, which actively requests items from the network, which allows us to move stuff around. Uh, so as this is doing that, um, let's just put them in a box for right now. I know exciting putting stuff in a box but I I need to move this wall and I'm too lazy to do it myself I want the robots to do it because we're so close to getting the robots but anyway the easy part about this is these are a half second processor but logistics take advanced circuits whereas these take more electronic circuits which I only have five on me so I kind of feel like I want to start boxing this stuff up here at the end. But I'm afraid of drying out the, the line, so I'm just going to steal some for myself for now. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. 70. Yeah, that's good. That way I can build five. my first five construction robots and put down our first robo port because that's where these things live if you've not dealt with the robot ports before what i'm looking at here is the orange and green is basically the extent of the logistics network actually the orange is the extent of the logistics network meaning uh, the logistic robots will only operate within that orange so things have to be our provider chest and requester chest has to, you know, they have to be inside an orange to be part of the logistic network. The green is the construction range of the of the construction robots. So we want to include these walls as best as possible because they'll repair the walls. Um, but I think for right now, if I've got room here in the center of the base, I'm just going to put it right here in the center of the base. Um... I don't need to build another sulfuric acid. I don't think I do. I don't think I've ever need to have more than one of those. Oh, there's just not enough room right there because the all the pipe. I can move that. So, looking at the range, it gets all the walls to the east pretty well. I'll end up having to build another one over here and another one south, but I like, yeah, because that's a good place for one too. But yeah, anyway, for now, there we go. First robot port. It needs a source of power and it needs the robots. And this is the fun way of releasing them. We, all right. They need um, repair packs, as you can see now. I got a new beeping thing down here. It says there are twenty-three objects missing repair packs within the range of this thing, and it starts flashing on the map. And 
it'll keep beeping at you until you provide it. So as soon as I give it these six, there they go. Those five robots will go off and use those repair packs and repair. It's repairing walls. It's just awesome. They start automating a lot of these tasks for me. But it does mean I need to fill this up with um, repair packs. Or I need to build repair packs somewhere that uh, puts into a storage chest for them. Repair packs are what? Gears and guess what? Circuitry. The thing that we have so much of, right? I'm making gears right here. Uh, it's just like everything I need is right here, but it's not uh, convenient. Bummer. Um, right. I'm not going to... Three more construction robots into the air. They move very slow at first. Um, you need to, res you know, there's some research that'll allow them to go faster. And speaking of faster, we really need the blue science. To, what is it? Oh, it's out of batteries. Yeah, this moving batteries manually. Oh, yeah, that's right. My batteries are now being shipped up here. Okay, so just, oh wow, just outside of the logistics network. I was going to peel off batteries into a, a chest so that the logistic network would start moving them, but I guess what I could do. Yeah, this is pretty much making this on demand. It's it's the sulfur that it's short on. And it's short on petroleum. Petroleum limited. Um, so let's make more batteries here. But these batteries I'm going to put into a chest. And I'm going to put it into a passive provider chest. What that'll do is then once I get the research for it, I can put a requester chest over here and the robots will move it for me. But for now, I'm going to have to move it myself. And that was all of six, so it was really kind of silly to do that. Yeah, because this is a serious backlog of batteries. I'm just going to move these on my own right here just so I can keep uh, blue science ticking. There's 30 more of them. Because I need to get this laser done so I can start working on the other stuff for the uh, logistic network. But things are looking pretty good. We've got robots almost fully automated. The only way to make it a little bit more automated would, would be to put two uh, other assembly machines here, one making logistics, one making construction, and having them automatically feed into a um, into the into the network. If you basically unload them from an assembly machine or a, or a, a chest directly into a robo port, they're automatically going into the network and so the minion count grows on its own it's like machines making machines that make more machines it's well it's very sci-fi terminator what was that what was that thing called that took over the world and destroyed all the humans in terminator um 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 oh skynet right yes okay uh, sorry, science is done, and that's the one that makes them go faster, but what I need right now, there we go, I need the logistics system 
uh, I need to be able to make these two chests. And then I need this for myself. I need character slot. I need logistics slots on my character so that they'll bring stuff to me. But this is more important first. 150. So I'm going to have to move 150 more batteries before that'll get done. Ooh, 17. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Uh, all right, well, with that, uh, things are looking really good. This doesn't look as... Well, it doesn't look as messy as I felt like it was, but I know this always gets messy when I get to the robots and science. And then what I start doing with, and you'll see here very soon, is when I get the logistics running, I have a different layout that I'll do for when I need to, you know, build. If I need more green circuits or red circuits in the network, um, I can just go out here and make a square and let the robots move everything for me. I don't have to worry about conveyor belts and all of that. Jazz. Why are you? Oh, I was like, why are you not making steel? But that's because steel is totally backed up. All right. With that, I am going to take a break. I uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you've enjoyed this video, and also subscribe to the channel so that you know when new content uh, has 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 been released. Uh, all right, now take care.